Well, hi there, and welcome to our Sunday Song Time. Yes, here on this first Sunday in June of 2024, so I'll say happy month to you. And, well, I guess you could call this kind of a friend's day for me, because I want to do a couple of shout-outs. First to my friends, Evan and Ann Snyder. Yes, I'm wearing this snappy t-shirt that they bought me. Here, I'll give you a bit of a close-up. This is my classically trained t-shirt. Yeah, and I was thinking as I as I saw this, do you remember when we felt like this was the epitome of human technology, right? Things just can't get any more advanced now that we have the cassette. Hey, those were fun times, and this is a fun shirt. And I also want to send a shout out to uh, my friends John and Judy Schultz. And uh, John, you'll notice here I have now my 12-string guitar. Yes, all 12 strings this time. I finally got it fixed up, got some new strings on it, and it sounded not too bad. All right. And uh, my wife, Mary, and I have known John and Judy Schultz for so many years now. Uh, they're retired, but uh, there was a time uh, they spent most of their most of their ministry life as uh, missionaries here in Canada, and in particular to uh, guys that were coming out of Canada's correctional facilities. Uh, these were fellows that got into some trouble. Uh, they'd done their time. They wanted to live a better life, but they needed some help. And so John and Judy would uh, sometimes even take some of them into their home, uh, teach them how to do things like a budget how to run a household. They ran Bible studies. And there's a sense in which John and Judy have extended family all across the country now. Well, the other day, uh, we were over with John and Judy Schultz. And John and I had our guitars. We were, we were doing some jamming. And Judy showed us this song that she wrote back in 1980. It's called Help Us, Lord. And I just said, Judy, that's a great song. I'd love to do that for my next Sunday song time. So John taught it to me. And, uh, and I was thinking to myself as I, as I do this, oh, and John, I should mention, especially to you, you'll see I have my capo on the second fret. John usually has his on the first because he has a much deeper voice than I do, but I'll do my best. Yes, I brought it up for, you know, for me. But as uh, I was looking at this and I realized it's really a song for the church. And uh, I'll explain more about that when I'm finished. But uh, this was an important song. This is an important message. And if it was important in 1980, I'm thinking, wow, it must be even more important now in 2024. Oh, by the way, if we have any professional musicians and singers out there and you're thinking to yourself after I've done this, wow, I'd like to record that song. Uh, you'll have to pay Judy Schultz a lot of money, but I'm sure it can be arranged. All right, here we go. Lord, you created us to love you. How disappointed you must be when we turn to earthly pleasures and refuse your way to see. Help us open up our churches. Let your spirit come within. Heal the lonely, hurting people and free us from our sin. Help us to love like you, Lord. Help us to share and really care. Share our love, share our joy. Share our sorrow and our hope for tomorrow. Lord, you know we've tried your patience, wandered far away from you. Help us see where we're failing and admit your gospel's true. Lord, we are all your children. Teach us to live the way you planned. To forget all our divisions. Take each other by the hand. Help us to love like you, Lord. Help us to share and really care. Share our love, share our joy. 
share our sorrow and our hope for tomorrow. Lord, you proved you really love us. Let your dear Son bear our shame. Now we must ask forgiveness and hold precious Jesus' name. Lord, our trials here are so many, but there's help if we will pray. We just gotta hold your hand, Lord. You are with us all the way. Help us to love like you, Lord. Help us to share and really care. Share our love, share our joy. Share our sorrow and our hope for tomorrow. Help us, Lord. Hey, and thank you, Judy Schultz, for uh, writing that song. And I know it's going to bless some people uh, watching here. Now, as I mentioned, you know, that song is really for the churches. Uh, because sometimes we lose our way. Yeah, we forget why we're actually here. Uh, Jesus said that to a church in the book of Revelation. He said, you know, you've, you've lost your first love. Um, uh, you know, you've, you, you've fallen from, from the love you had at first. And every now and again, we've got to kind of reorient ourselves. And there's all kinds of chapters in the Bible and verses about returning to the Lord. And I was looking at the uh, little book of Hosea, the prophet Hosea, and yeah, all kinds of places where it talks about returning to the Lord. God says in uh, Hosea 6 and, and verse 6, he said, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, and acknowledgement of God rather than burnt offerings. You know, if we just we just get a little more religious activity in our life. That'll, that'll please God. No, he wants more than that. He wants our heart. And so in, uh, well, Hosea 6 and verse 1, it said, Come, let us return to the Lord. Verse 3 says, Let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge him. As surely as the sun rises, he will appear. He will come to us like the winter rains, like the spring rains, that water the earth. And, well, I've, I've loved these verses for a number of years now, but they come from Hosea chapter 10. And it says there in verse 12, Sow righteousness for yourselves. Reap the fruit of unfailing love and break up your unplowed ground. Uh, you know, farmers will talk about fallow ground. It's good ground, but it's been kind of ignored. So maybe people have walked on and created this hard path. Sometimes our hearts get a bit hard too, don't they? And so we've got to kind of plow that up, dig it up a little bit, put some water into it. And, and that's really what it says here. Uh, it says, for it is time to seek the Lord until he comes and showers his righteousness on you. Now, you, you've heard uh, that line, and it comes from the Bible. You know, you reap what you sow. Well, uh, we get a little bit serious here in Hosea 10 and verse 13. But it, these words, I, I read these over quite a bit for myself, actually, and I have over the years. It says, but you have planted wickedness. You've reaped evil, right? You reap what you sow. You've eaten the fruit of deception because you have depended on your own strength. Hey, that's key right there. We need to depend, to depend on, on Him. Help us, Lord, to do that. And then Hosea 14. Now, these words were originally written you know, to the nation of Israel, but they apply to us today. And again, that word, return. Yes, return to the Lord your God. Your sins have been your downfall. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Hey, you know what? You might even want to rewind this back and listen again to, well, those words of that song from Judy Schultz because she's given us some pretty fine words to take with us as we return to 
the Lord. And um, I was just thinking of uh, these very well-known words in Isaiah chapter 1. Because, uh, well, maybe you're watching and, yeah, maybe maybe this is for you now. Maybe uh, maybe you've lost your way a little bit. Well, come on back. And, and, and God says, learn to do right. Seek justice. Defend the oppressed. Take up the cause of the fatherless. Plead the case of the widow. You know, sometimes we just think, well, if we just create a, a real nice-looking church building, uh, if we just make sure, you know, we get all the words and the doctrines correct, then God is, that's what he wants. No, remember, he, he desires mercy, not sacrifice. Learn to do right. He wants us to seek justice. Defend the oppressed. Take up the cause of the fatherless. Plead the case of the widow. There's all kinds of hurting people out there. And we need to share the hope we have with them, don't we? Our hope for tomorrow, as this song said. And so if, if this is for you, let me read Isaiah 1 and verse 18. God says, come now. Let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Uh, some versions will say, come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. And you know, you'll find God very reasonable. Yeah, when you come to him with a contrite heart. Mm -hmm. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Come back, return to the Lord. And, uh, well, take words with you, obviously, from the Bible, but also, you know, uh, all the different hymn writers, all the different songwriters over the years have provided us words to come to God with. And, Judy, you provided some great words here. Yes, Lord, you created us to love you. And, and he must be disappointed when we turn to earthly things, like all the things of earth, the things that are just going to, they're not going to survive long after we're gone. No, no, help us to open up our churches. Hmm, first thing we got to do is open it up for the fresh wind of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you know, like sometimes you got to let the op open the windows and let the breezes come and kind of sweep through the house a little bit. Got to do that with the church sometimes. Yes, and heal the lonely hurting people. Free us from our sins and help us to love the way you do. Yes, help us to share and really care. Share our love. We share our joy. Oh, yes, we share our sorrows. But we have hope. And we share that, our hope for tomorrow. So thank you again, Judy Schultz, for writing these words. And like I say, there is important now, 40-some-odd-plus uh, years since when you first wrote them. Help us, Lord. And I hope that blessed you all today. And, uh, yep, here on this, uh, I was going to say Friends Sunday and Snappy T-Shirt Sunday. Uh, and uh, may the Lord bless you. Uh, and thank you for watching these. Bye-bye for now.